Today I'm testing the Mountain Man Capote that I made using a military surplus blanket. Now this military surplus blanket was only $20. It's one of the lower quality ones. So I was curious to see how it performed. So I went outside, I rolled around in the snow, I walked a long ways and I dove in a stream just to really get an idea of how well this could keep the cold out. So in this first bit here, I rolled around on the ground and laid on the ground for probably about an hour just working the snow into the material, just testing it, and it actually held the snow out. Outside, it's about 20 degrees. The warmest I think it got was in the upper 20s during this test, and the wind is blowing pretty hard, and it's pretty wet outside. Here, after rolling around on the snow for all that amount of time, I'm just shaking it all off, brushing it off, and it all comes off pretty easily. The lanolizing treatment that I did on this coat really did a good job at keeping the moisture from penetrating. Oh yeah, I'm rolling around on the ground with a knife that I had made on my belt the whole time. Here, in an effort to push the material even further, I decided to just drive my back through the snow for quite a distance just to see if it would get packed through the blanket. Here, I'm just shaking it off, falls right off, no problem. I am really enjoying this coat. And since rolling around on the snow for an hour didn't do anything to it, I decided to take it a step further here. There's parts of the stream that I've already iced over, so this is going to get really cold. Check out the dryness. One of the unsung heroes in this video is the boots I'm wearing. These are my favorite winter boots. They're a pair of military surplus Mickey boots. and. In this stream, my boots are full of this freezing water, but throughout this video, my feet did not get overly cold. One of the remarkable things I've discovered about wool is that it runs water off of itself very, very quickly. The water drains off of the wool material faster than the denim or the cotton button-down shirt I'm wearing underneath. And honestly, it dries very, very, very quickly. And because of that, it returns to being able to keep me decently warm really fast. And here I just stand there for a few minutes and you can already tell that water slowed down and stripping off quite a bit. And yes, I am cold, but I gotta say, I really find this material favorable and in this test I'm really happy with it. It's cold enough that I'm pulling the hood over my head. Now this shawl hood that I have is not attached to the coat permanently, but when I put this over, the, the body heat that I do have really, really does stay contained within there and keeps me pretty warm. And I am just very impressed with how this coat performed for how lightweight it is or how cheap the material is. And the fact that I made it myself honestly really gives me a lot of happiness and pride in how well it performed. And another two hours outside later, I'm back at the baseball field after walking around in the snow and in the wind. Decided to just stand still for a while and see how the jacket feels after getting wet to see if it still does a decent job insulating and it does do a better job than a lot of other materials I've tried to test like this with and I really am happy. Now some of the reasons that this works is that the, the wool material is able to release water quicker. I lanolized it so its ability to shed the water is improved over even just a regular piece of the material. But the fact that the jacket does go down to my knees makes a big difference. The double layering of the material around the shoulders makes a big difference. All these things contribute to helping me stay warm, and I give this a thumbs up.